Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for Ca3PO4 2 plus H2SO4. This is calcium phosphate and this is sulfuric acid. So the first thing we need to do, balance the molecular equation. I can see that we have these three calciums here and just one here. Let's put a three in front of the calcium sulfate. So the calciums are balanced, but now we have three sulfates here and only one here. Put a three here, that balances the sulfates, but now three times two, six hydrogens. If I put a two here, two times three, that would give me six hydrogens, and I have two phosphates. But that's okay, because I have two phosphates here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. Calcium phosphate, phosphates in general, they're insoluble. So that's going to be a solid sulfuric acid. That's a strong acid, so that's going to be aqueous. It'll break apart into its ions. Calcium sulfate, usually sulfates are soluble. Calcium sulfate, that's an exception. A little bit dissolves, not very much. So we're going to call this calcium sulfate a solid as well. And then phosphoric acid, it's aqueous, but it's a weak acid, so we're not going to split this up. Once we have the states, we can split all of the strong electrolytes into their ions. And remember, this is a weak acid. We're not going to split it up. That looks like this. So at this point, we can cross out spectator ions, except there aren't any spectator ions. Everything's different in the reactants and the products. So this is the net ionic equation for calcium phosphate plus sulfuric acid. Let me clean this up, write the states. We'll have a net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the calcium phosphate and sulfuric acid. Note that charge is balanced. We have 6 times 1 plus. That's 6 plus. 3 times 2 minus is 6 minus. So the 6 plus, 6 minus cancel out. This whole side here adds up to 0. Over here, these are neutral compounds. That adds up to 0. If you count the atoms up as well, you'll see that the equation is balanced. The atoms are balanced. Note we didn't split the solid calcium phosphate apart or the solid calcium sulfate, and the weak acid, we don't split weak acids apart either in net ionic equations. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.